have you ever done something and you're like i was i was fucking great in that yeah and then go no one cared no one paid attention no yes. one noticed me never got nothing all the time really no, most of the time i feel that way really and you're not like, not that most of the time i feel that it was great but uh, most of the time when i when i have a great day where i feel like i've done really great work i feel like it just slides away are you disappointed do you want to hear something yeah yeah it would be nice and and i think what i do is i try to live on like I remember when we were doing True Blood and speaking with some of my other actor friends and talking about insecurities and some of them were at the time like IMDb still had message boards and people would go on and read all of these lonely, angry people who would just say terrible things about you online oh. and they would go and read it. And I remember sitting down with, with one of them once and being like, okay, you know, weird guy on the internet and Alan fucking Ball who keeps bringing you back and keeps giving you challenging material and keeps saying that you're the shit, right? Like at a certain point, that has to matter more. His validation of you has to matter 100%. more than this person's. Yes. And so, you know, what I tend to thrive on, like, you know, we did an episode on Daredevil um, that focused on my character, Karen Page. We did a whole backstory. We took, they, they, I, I will forever be indebted to Eric Olson for, championing this to the writers who the writer who wrote it he took the entire crew upstate new york in the snow and did this amazing standalone story about her past and he collaborated with me on the story and we you know i felt involved and creatively fulfilled by it it was one of the best weeks of my life in my career wow I am so fucking proud of that episode. I still haven't seen it to this day, what they did with it in the end. But the experience that I had and and working with everyone, it, it, I'll never forget it. He wrote me and said lovely things. Did anyone ever mention that episode to me outside in the public, anything like that? No, no one. No one. Um but I, that has to be okay, right? It has, to be, it has okay to be okay that I'm crazy proud, that Charlie was proud of me, that John was proud of me, that Vincent was proud of me, that that Eric Olson was proud of me, that, you know, that my husband, my family, that these people, you know, were proud. And, that and has to be enough. And what you think, it's like, when is enough? What's enough? Right. And ultimately, you know, that we get to a point where, like, we have to have the confidence and wherewithal to sort of just say i'm good yeah i know what i'm doing i'm proud of myself moving on well, i don't need any external validation when i've gotten better at because because external validation is a thing that i struggle I with know, we all do i've gotten better you know when i have those thoughts where i'm like god damn it why couldn't that have been i go you know what silly deb you know what a what a silly thought you know like <laughs> this is this person who did all this for you he wrote this he set this side of time he set this budget a time you know budget aside all of this you know to do this and that is such a huge um vote of confidence um that he 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 did that for me so you know i i, I try to hold on to that i have a little whenever someone sends me a nice email i put a little a little so i think i even call it like confidence log Builder or something or like yeah. that and whenever i'm having a moment i'll go read it and it's that's smart 